Are you angry? No? Well, you should be. Well, it's time for another dose of reality and hypocrisy served up by our, well, politicians. Politicians that are put into that place to look after the people. Well, put into that place by you, in fact. Well, Jeremy Hunt, <coughs> well, the man who thinks he is the voice of reason. Maybe he should be locked up just like the other voice of so-called reason, Alex Belfield. Maybe. Well, he's decided that public sector workers don't deserve a decent pay rise. What's that, Jeremy? There's no extra money. No. Oh, OK, how generous of you. Well, apparently, and, and his buddy Richie Susnack believe that giving public sector workers a fair wage increase would somehow push up inflation. Yeah, <laughs> OK, well, the irony in it. Well, because, you know, giving hard-working teachers, nurses and police officers a bit more money in their pockets will suddenly make everyone start demanding higher prices for everything. Yeah, they call it a, what is it, a wage price spiral. <laughs> Watch out, folks. <laughs> We're all going down the drain because a nurse got a pay rise. More fip and bollocks. Alex, oh, I would apologise. Sorry, just say it as I say it. Well, the same people telling us this are the same people who are, well, being paid exorbitant amounts of money. Mm, such as the bank manager, Andrew Bailey. It's not like uh, Richie Sunak is, uh, well, short of a bob or two, is it? No. It's not like uh, Jeremy Hunt is short of a bob or two. No. But the people who are are the ones who have been crippled by those who got the money who have making the decisions. Uh, my mind boggles, I tell you. It boggles, it does. And let's not forget... Richie Sunak's <laughs> principles of fairness, affordability and responsibility. It's really heartwarming, isn't it, to see that he's so concerned about uh, fairness for the taxpayers, <laughs> but apparently not so concerned about the fairness for those people who keep society functioning. The doctors, the nurses, the teachers and other frontline workers. Let's not forget the police. Yet they can't strike. That springs on to strikes. Oh my giddy aunt, we're going to be seeing strikes and more strikes and put them in more strikes all this year and running into next year. Most likely. But I mean, that's not going to help a functioning economy either, is it? No, we can't get the jobs done. <laughs> then they've got immigration. Oh, let's not get into that one just at the moment. But hey. Let's just manage those expectations. Let's keep people's uh, expectations suppressed. Let's control them. Let's control them in the pockets. Make them poorer. Make them into serfs. Well, let's make the unions think that maybe, just maybe, there's a glimmer of hope that the uh, government will actually listen to the independent pay review bodies. <laughs> Not on your nelly. No. We wouldn't want uh, them to cause too much trouble now, would we? Meanwhile, the Bank of England governor, Andrew Bailey, has joined the chorus of a wage restraint. Well, he has for some months now, to be fair. Yeah. Because apparently fighting ag well, against inflation means keeping uh, wages low and letting hard work individuals struggle to make ends meet. He's the instigator of a lot of it. He's pushing up interest rates. And it's not bringing down inflation either, it's just making people poorer. It's like it's deliberate. It's like they're trying to force a recession. So here we are, my friends, in a world where politicians preach about responsibility and affordability while denying fair pay to those who deserve it the most. Yet they're awarding themselves higher wages. The Bank of England governor himself has over set, well, he's on over 700 grand a year plus bonuses. And yet he's trying to tell us to, <laughs> just to manage. And Richie Sunak, he stands there and he tells us all, well, trust me. Well, he, well, his missus, 
brings in 15 million a year just in dividends from a company that's still operating, allegedly, in Russia. This is just so infuriating. It makes a mockery of decency and integrity. <laughs> Affordability. We need these people to be at work, doing the jobs, making sure that the nation's healthy, that they're safe. So we can actually get the flippant jobs done. So we have productivity. So we have a growing economy. Instead, we're flatlining. In fact, recently, it looks like uh, our growth is, uh, well, down just a few points of a percent. It's supposed to be growing. This is the summer, for God's sake. This is when we should be earning money. But no. No, 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 no. Not in the hands of these Tories, no. They'll just squeeze you even tighter. Well, this is really infuriating, it really is. But hey oh, at least we have their words of wisdom to guide us. <laughs> oh God, look at the aunt. Oh dear. No extra money for you though, no. And remember, excess borrowing is inflationary. Uh, according to old Jeremy Hunt. But he finds some money for other stuff, don't he? Yeah. Stuff that allows to put more money, more money, in the hands of, uh, well, friends of the Tories. Cronyism, you could say. Look at Michelle Moe. That was money for her, wasn't there? That was money for nothing. They provided nothing. And now we've got flipping PPE in crates being disposed of. It costs a crazy amount of money every single day. 1.5 million, I think it was, every single day. <laughs> what the hell's going on? And we sit there and just suck it up. It's oh, okay. Yeah. And who's in charge of that? A Tory friend. So Richie Sunak and Jeremy Hunt, thanks for flipping nothing. Absolutely nothing. You screwed over the country and you screwed over the British people. Started with your Brexit, that it did. Blimey. Anyway, you tell me, please leave it in the comments down below, because I do read the comments, but you probably already know. Yeah, oh my giddy aunt. When are we going to be shot of these charlatans? Huh? When? Leave that in the comments down below. If you want to support the channel, you can do it on Patreon, buy us a coffee, the links down below. But if you want to be a member, oh, oh, oh. I've come up with some ideas with that. Blimey. I've got a list. It's not easy though, no. Anyway, memberships. <laughs> buy us a coffee. Patreon super chats, and also we go live, you know, some days, like we do. Anyway, don't forget to boot the old like button and maybe subscribe to the channel because then you get one fuzzy thing in your pocket every time I upload another video. Especially if you click that little, little bell icon which is down below. Yeah. Well, it's time for me to go, I'll say ta-ta, you know, soon. Ta-ta. <laughs>